Hi guys, this is the assembly section of the exam. Before starting, let us think about one question. How can we study? Maybe we can start from the button because the silver six is on the button and the silver one is on the top. They grip it. Therefore, we can assemble in the order of the servers from silver six to silver one. In addition, there are two tips for you. The robotic arm has six servers in total, but how to identify them? You can see it has the sticker on here and with the number, so we should pay attention to the number when we assemble the servo. The second one is that how to identify the main servo horn and the assistant servo horn, which is very important during the assembly. Actually, the side with the interface and the sticker with the ID number is the assistant server horn, and the side without the interface and the sticker with number ID number is the main server horn. With this, it will be very easy to identify the server horn. Now it's time for us to have a try and assemble step by step. Let's start from the button. This is the base bracket. Four holes here, and we need to put the suction cups in these four holes. Put the cup at the bottom, then use the cup to to tighten it. Next step is put the server six in here. Do you still remember which side is the assistant server home? Yes, this one, because it has the sticker with the ID number. And the interface. First one, we need to take off the screws in the servo. And put this side, remember this is a system servo home side. This race part is in the center of the basement. Put back the screws. Then we need to put the 4 to 8 screws in these 4 holes. Tighten with 4 to 32 peel. This one is the limited ring. It has the race part. We put the race part at the end of the servo. This side is the end of the servo. Tighten with the 3 to 6 servers. You can see the screws are in the cross direction. The next part is the limited octagonal ring. It also has the race part, but it should be opposite to the limited ring. Then put the bearing. This one also is the octagonal ring, but it without the wrist part. We need to adjust the position like this, the hose to the hose. Use the 4 to 20 screws in here. It's easy to tighten it. Then next one, take the 3 pin level wire. It's 15 cm. Push through it and take it from the button. You can choose any of the interface, but please pay attention to the direction because it has the wrist part in the connector. The next one, take this bracket, and this one is the rotational section. Adjust the position. We can see there are four holes, holes two holes. Put the 226 screws and tighten with the nut. The direction of this bracket is very important. The race part with the hose should be opposite to the end of the servo, so we need to change the direction. Then, use the 4 to 16 screws to put them together. This is the M4 knot. Okay, this is the first part of the assembly.
Please check the next part for the assembly. Thanks for your watching.